I have a third example here of writing the equation of the sinusoidal function. So let's take a look at this graph. Um, a couple of different features here that are different than some of the previous ones. Um, first of all, notice that the function actually maxes out where x is equal to zero. And that looks a whole lot more like a cosine function. The cosine function hits a maximum when x is equal to zero. Um, so I think we're actually going to write the equation of a cosine function this time, although the basic example I have here is still a sine. Um, so that's going to be a little bit different. You could do a sine function, but I, I think cosine will work a little bit better. Um, all right, so some other things here. Notice that the function goes down to negative 1 and it goes up to 5. So we've got to figure out where the midline is. And if we can figure out where the midline is, it's also very easy to find the amplitude. Um, I, a lot of times, will average these two values. So it goes as low as negative 1, goes as high as 5. Uh, if you average those two values, you actually end up getting 2. And so that tells me that the midline is going to end up being at uh, y equals 2, which should allow me to shift this thing up pretty easily. So midline is going to be cutting through right here. We can kind of see that. Um, you should be able to count the amplitude now. Notice that it goes from 2 up to 5, so that amplitude is 3. Or you could just look at the whole graph from top to bottom. Uh, the height of the whole thing is 6. Uh, you could just take half of that, and that would tell you that the amplitude is 3. So a few different ways to handle that. Um, because I'm doing a cosine function here, um, because it hits a maximum value when x is equal to 0, I'm not going to do any kind of a phase shift here. Uh, so we're just going to take that out. Um, if I did a sine function, I'd have to do a phase shift. And if I did a sine function, I would have to figure out where it hits the midline. I would have to figure out what that coordinate was over there and basically shift it back that amount, which uh, I don't really want to do. Here's the challenge in this problem. The challenge here is going to be the period. Because if you take a glance at this graph here, you're going to notice something. Uh, the period is you can go from max to max here. Notice the period here is 4. Not 4 pi, just 4. And that means that we have to kind of wrangle this around so that there's not a pi showing up in the final period. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to say, oh, the period's pi. That's a graph that's moving twice as fast as a graph with a period of 2 pi, and, and your b value is going to end up being 2. It's not so obvious here to get 4 not 4 pi, 4. So my suggestion here is to use the equation, uh, which is why I've actually put the equation here on the screen. Um, I would like the period to be 4, and I know that the period needs to equal 2 pi over b, and I would just solve that equation for b, and then you'll know what your b value is supposed to be in your equation. So multiply both sides by b here, um, and it'll cancel. You get 4b is equal to 2 pi, you can divide both sides by 4, and you end up with 2 pi over 4, which is the same thing as pi over 2, okay? So our b value here is going to be pi over 2, and that's what we're going to use to put together the final equation. So let's, let's go through this final equation here and put this together. My, my b value is pi over 2. All right, so my final equation, y equals um, amplitude is 3. We're going to do a cosine function. The b value is going to be pi over 2. Um, we don't need to shift it any, so it can just be pi over 2x. And then because the midline is at y equals 2, this whole thing has to be shifted up 2 units. And so again, it, it looks weird because you've got this pi over 2 here that just looks so strange in the equation. Uh, but that's what you need to do to actually force this thing to have a period of 4. And uh, even though it looks kind of strange, this will essentially cancel out the pi from the period and give us a period that is a whole number value. So that'll look kind of odd, but uh, it's, it's going to work out, and that's really the key.